Hi guys, Jamie here from Start Riot. Welcome back. I am here with Eric and Casey from Turnover. Welcome back to the UK. How's it going? You've been here for a while actually. You've just been to Europe with Citizen, but you were here before that. You yeah. did a little run of shows, headline shows. Five days ago or something. Yeah, yeah. How was that? All the shows we played in the UK were sick. We were the headliner, yeah. and they were all like sold out. So that's cool. You know, smaller shows, but they were sold out, so yeah, yeah. it was fun. The bands that played with us were cool too. Teen Brains and Clouds. Yeah, yeah. They're like both two really good up up and coming bands. Yeah, the they UK. UK bands. Yeah. Yeah. They're both from the same hometown actually too. Oh, all right. What is cool. it? Uh, Norwich. 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 Yeah. Well, we got good. Is from Norwich, and Teen Brains is from like. A little bit outside of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Did you play at the Owl Sanctuary? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was oh. like one of the last shows. Yeah, yeah. That venue's really cool. They let us like sleep upstairs and stuff. Oh, really? It's Sick. closing down, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was, one of the it was one of the last shows of the tour. It was also like one of the last shows at that venue. Yeah, yeah. So. It's a shame. How was Europe as well? well Europe was, you know, it was cool. It's definitely okay. It's definitely Not as good as the UK. The UK is just easier to communicate with everyone and stuff. Yeah. But the shows in Europe were really good. Yeah. And uh, Germany was sick. Yeah, Germany was crazy. All the shows were really good. And Belgium was good too. Citizen had a little trouble. Matt like lost his voice in the second second Germany show, or third Germany show. So there was some exciting. Me and Austin and uh, a dude that's on tour with them named Jimmy. We all. Uh, they sang a few of the songs each. Nice. That's kind of cool. That's cool. So you did a split with Citizen years ago, and um, since then your kind of sounds have kind of diverged, shall we say. Um, have the shows been a bit weird for that? Has it been like really chill for you guys and then really mosh for Citizen? Or? Um, I think Turnover is kind of used to like... Um, we're used to playing the per per peripheral vision songs by now because since like March we toured with Newfound Glory and ever since then we've only played peripheral vision songs so I mean we're used to the crowd not like stage diving and stuff so I mean as long as they're listening that's we're all we really care about we're used to being like about. the chillest band on the show yeah which is it's cool that's good but sometimes kids do still you know it still gets us excited to you know see kids like singing along yeah yeah so. but Citizen is definitely a lot more for sure I think having the front man like hand out the mic and stuff helps. Matt, Matt's got the good scream, you know, yeah. gets everyone excited. Um, so your second album, Peripheral Vision, it's been out for a while now. It was awesome. Congratulations. Um, so it had a great response from like loads of mainstream news outlets as well as, you know, the within this kind of genre. I'm not going to say a genre because nobody, nobody no, knows. Yeah, so <laughs> I, know, I know what you mean though, it's like a, this, well, in it's this a scene. Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. yeah. Just the general punk scene. Um, is it nice to be able to play live, kind of knowing what, what kind of reaction it's going to get? You know, gen generally positive, people aren't just going to be like, what? Yeah, I mean... Some, it, it's not always the same. Like, yeah, it's different every night. Like we played we played our hometown of Virginia Beach with Sea Haven. Like, people were like two stepping to, yeah. to those songs, so you never really know what they're gonna do. But yeah. it's like Jurassic Park. Life finds a way. Yeah, it's a two step. Wish you could say that. <laughs> I really wish the T Rexes had started two stepping in uh, Jurassic Park Four. That would have been I mean, good. they definitely could have. I wish they did too. Maybe you could ask if you can soundtrack Jurassic Park Five. Yeah. Yeah. Please. It'd be a chill, so. chill soundtrack. <laughs> they want to go really like Wes Anderson with it. Yeah, that's what they should do. They want to get really ambient with it. Yeah, next time around. Good stuff. Um, so you guys started out as a pop punk band back in the day. Uh, you've obviously kind of tried to break free of that. Was like a conscious decision to try and get away from that label, or did you just kind of naturally grow as as people and as a band into this? I think it was very, very natural. We never really. We never said we wanted to change our sound or anything, but you know we were all we were all young when we started the band, and I feel like the ages in which we changed our sound a lot is when you change a lot as a person. So I don't know. The music just kind of changed as we grew up. So were you ever uh, anxious about like alienating fans or anything? Any what? No. 
Uh, about like alienating fans if if people might turn away because they I mean we were aware that it was a possibility but you know we do what we want so <laughs> at, the, at the end of the day it's really we just want to play music that we enjoy playing yeah and that we're really proud of and like I would say that peripheral vision's a step in that direction of, yeah. of being able to like you know it's like something I can like show my mom mm -hmm. and like Hopefully she might like it. You know? Yeah, that's As cool. opposed to like, you know, back in the day, like there's just kids jumping all over each other. And, uh, but. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that was that's the most positive thing I've experienced from all of everything since that album came out. Like um, praise from like my close friends, like my parents, who don't care or even listen to any music in the scene, but they recognize that Purple Vision is a good album, so that's okay. how I know it must be good, if ever, all different kinds of people can appreciate it, you know, so it's we're good. definitely it's proud good. of it. It must be nice, like, that your family can enjoy it as well, because if you're in, like, a hardcore band, you know, you show it to your grandma, and they're like, I don't like this. Even Turnover's old music, my yeah. mom would just be like, this is screamo. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to have them feel, uh, to know that they're like actually supportive as opposed to just saying they're supportive. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Cool. Um, uh, were you like really excited to kind of reach a new audience? Like, you know, it's kind of reached out to a different, you know, audience of, of people that might not even like emo or punk or whatever. Like, yeah, yeah. I think that. Um, it's just we we want we want all, all different types of people to listen to our music. So, mm -hmm. just with the album, like we're able to like you know push it in all these different areas, and like hopefully people in all these different areas like it. And then eventually, when we play a show, hopefully the room is just filled with you know all different people, as opposed to just you know kids that are 17 or 18. You know, it's like a big age range and a yeah, yeah. big variety of the people in the room. I guess our our position of where we were before the album didn't exactly make us accessible to every single type of person, but it's definitely helped us so far, you know. Hopefully think our next album will be even, you know, continue the same growth. Yeah, yeah. It's like a platform for people to say more seriously. So you kind of, as a band, kind of spoke about British influences before. Do you guys, what, what are some uh, British bands that you guys are into? Like Block Party, <coughs> yeah. I know Block Party is like yeah. a really big influence for like uh, Danny and Austin, especially. They both they both really love Block Party. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, that's cool. The last time we came here, we toured with Night Harvest. Yeah, yeah. And I think re literally we wrote Peripheral Vision right after we met Night Harvest. Oh, and I yeah. think like meeting them and like having them show us bands, because like there's bands I listen to to this day that like that they showed me, and yeah, I think yeah. that. Meeting people in, in England really, like, it opened our eyes a lot more mm -hmm. to write an album that we were more um, comfortable with, you know what I mean? That's cool. Yeah. It's a different vibe over here. It is. It's, it really is. It's a very, very different world than yeah. the United States. So. Oh, cool. So this was Eric and Casey from Turnover. If you like the video, give us a like, subscribe, all that shit. Cool. See you later. Cool. I got it now.